Welcome back to State of the Nation. Commercial banks, markets and business outlets in Umahia, the Abia state capital, opened for business on Friday, defying the state-at-home order by the independent people of Biafra IPOB. There was an air of silent uncertainty before people came out to go about their normal trade. Let's analyze this further. The IPOB state-at-home order, the commissioner of police, I understand from Abia State, Garba Umar now joins me on the phone. Let's get a clearer picture of what it is that you have. Tell us, this sit at home order, uh, uh, the compliance rate seems to be a major concern for a lot of people. But you can tell us, how well has this been complied with in, in, uh, in, uh, in Abia State? I'm sorry, that's a number state where you are. Oh, I understand that uh, we don't have that line very clear, but uh, that's the situation that we're getting from uh, the eastern part of the country that some, uh, after some uneasy uh, silence, uh, that will be residents just watching to see what happens next. There was a, an unease of people just being silent for a while, and uh, they started coming out to go about their normal businesses after banks and other commercial offices began to open uh, in the early hours of today, uh, defying the seat at home order by the independent people of Biafra, the IPOB. And this has been ongoing for quite a while now when the government prescribed that group saying that they are illegal. And as a matter of fact, saying that any activity that has been supported by IPOB is by all means not in the interest of the sovereignty of the country. I'm now being joined again by the Commissioner of Police of Anambra State, Garba Umar. I want to thank you so much indeed for joining me on State of the Nation. What did you observe where you are in Anambra State? Did the people defy, really defy that uh, state at home order by IPOB? Um, um, not at all. Um, as um, uh, what relates in Anambra State, we had an excellent outing today uh, because people were all out, commercial activities were on, government establishments. In fact, today we had a conference on national insurance policy in which the excellency the governor the executive governor of Anambra State was there. And I went round uh, in Newi, Onitsha, Ecolodia, Oka and other environs environs of the state. Yeah, all activities were on. They, they were they did not because people know that um, my IPOB is dead um, it's not an organization that is existing. It was pro uh, proscribed and it means proscribed. And in Anambra said we have been enjoying relative peace, and that is what is happening. Everything went well today. Commercial vehicle, commercial people are going about their normal business without any fear. Now, now should, should the IPO be, be taken a little more seriously? Because even though it's been prescribed by the government, meaning uh, they're just a push-aside group, but shouldn't they be taken seriously? Because the concerns are focused on an ideology of a free servant state called Biafra. Uh, now, let me just uh, I'll tell you something about agitation. When you, are, when you believe in agitation and you are fighting for something, you know, you go on with the same dream, with the expectation that one day it's going to come out. And you cannot kill that dream. However, as you are aware, um, uh, when government uh, went to court and the court uh, recognized that IPOB is proscribed, it remains an outlaw organization. Therefore, you, they, can, they have other umbrellas, other there are government establishments, there are processes which they can follow. Nobody can stop agitation. Nobody can say you do not have the right to agitate or the right to complain. But let it be based on legal procedure. If you go contrary to the law of the land, definitely you are not agitating for something else. Then that is our own presumption and that is our own concept and that is our own understanding. So we believe that those who are agitating, you can call yourself any other name, you can do any other thing, you can write a memo, you can send your representation. We have representatives. For God's sake, we have the local government, we have the state government, and we have the federal government, and we have representatives. 
So whoever that wants to do anything and he feels that I'm a, his, I'm a right or whatever has been infringed, there are ways in which you can go. Well, I must, I must, that, that's a good place to let it rest. Uh, Garba Umar is the Commissioner of Police and Number State for giving us uh, an update on what actually happened today. Uh, also, the Commissioner of Police of Abia State, Anthony Obizi, now joins me as well. I want to thank you so much indeed. Let's get a sense of what happened in Abia State, especially in Umar here. Did the people uh, defy that order by IPOB? Okay, we're trying to get across to the uh, Abia State Commissioner of Police, Anthony Obizi. The lines are a little jammed, but as quickly as we get them. But this is what we understand still, that uh, the IPOB, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a ban, r rather a prescribed group. And uh, the government is saying that they shouldn't be taken seriously. But that same group has called for a sit-in. It's not the first time that they are calling for a sit-in, just to emphasize some of their... Uh, their, their ideologies and what it is that they want, but the government has taken it very seriously, saying that they should not be given any chance whatsoever. There are um, channels to which you can uh, submit your grievances through your representatives at the National Assembly, but that's the much we know. And uh, in some states, it has been uh, largely uh, defied. We understand in Uma here, in Abia State, it, it has been largely... Uh, unsuccessful while in other states it has been partially successful but let's get back to Anthony Obese is the Commissioner of Police of Abia State should they be taking seriously this IPOB group I beg your pardon I'm talking about the IPOB state at home order which they gave what did you observe today does it get to a point such that people should be more concerned about this IPOB group? Well, I should say, to begin with, the IPOB threats of sit at home did not work in Abia State because people have been going about their normal businesses, banks open for businesses, shops open, and the activities here have been going on as normal. So there is no evidence of any presence of IPOP, IPOB, in Abia State. I thank Abians for being law abiding and for defying uh, the threats by IPOB to sit at home. And uh, I will say that this is an indication that the people of Abia have shown the world that they are peace loving and they are not given to violence. And this is an indication that those that used to perpetrate this violence are not the audience, as we could see from today. So who are they? I should say that there are some coming from other states, the hoodlums coming from other states. Abia is, has boundary with about uh, seven uh, states, and most of those ones may be coming from other states. Abia themselves, I and we could see today. Antonio Busy, I must thank you indeed for talking to me here on State of the Nation, giving us an update on the state at home order by the IPOB proscribed group. But that's the much you can take on the show today. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. I'm Gimba Omar, and this is State of the Nation. Bye for now.